you again? Now, I have some last-minute gift problems. Don't worry. Hickory Farms has over 100 gift packs. Gifts with mild cheddar cheese, smoky check, bar check. cheese. We are the super cheese market. Uh, yes, and we... Hickory Farms specialties like beef stick and sweet hot mustard. Uh, look, I'll just and... put myself in your hand. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's 14 L's. Mm -hmm. yeah, How many reindeer? Oh, there's a dancer, there's a dancer, there's a Welcome to another episode of Championship Wrestling. This is the Memphis Project. Uh, this is card number two. Uh, we're going to have some great matches here today. Just a little bit of a late night stream because um, uh, I had some time. Um, and uh, yeah, I booked out this card. Of course, our big main event. We have a big, big, big main event. Jackie Fargo and handsome Jimmy Valiant going one on one against each other uh but to start we have a uh, uh, a match between someone who we've seen before robert gibson and uh, someone who's making their debut in rick mccord robert gibson uh, on our first card was on a, on a losing end of things so he's looking to pick up a win here today and rick mccord of course looking to make a statement in his first match let's roll some initiative and ring that bell looks like rick mccord is going to start things off here and he's going to throw robert gibson into the ropes uh gonna just drop down and roll again on that chart i come off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle robert gibson knocks rick mccord with a back elbow smash and Rick McCord is rolling his pin. This could be it. The target is four. The roll is seven. One fatigue token for Rick McCord there. And there is the double drop kick. Now, that is a tag move. Uh, he does not have a singles finisher, so he has to roll again on level three. Flying head scissors to choice C. Uh, he, if he goes for the moonsault, it'll only work on a five or less. I guess he's going to go for the kick to the knee. That'll work on an eight or less. And the roll is a nine. It doesn't work. Rick McCord now, uh, back in control with the flying drop kicks on Robert Gibson. And Robert Gibson is rolling his pin. The target is three. The roll is an 11. One fatigue there for Robert Gibson as Rick McCord locks in a figure four leg lock. Uh, Robert Gibson is down. He is not going to roll out of the ring. Uh, he's just going to try and endure it as Rick McCord keeps that figure four leg lock locked on. Uh, Rick McCord now goes for a body slam. Uh, he has the power. He can make that happen. And Robert Gibson's going to reverse it on level one here and uh, execute a hip toss on Robert Gibson, who's dazed. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on Rick McCord. And uh, Robert, uh, Rick McCord now goes into the ropes. You can't throw out some powerful flying shoulder tackle roll on level two offense. Rick McCord takes it back with some more flying drop kicks on Robert Gibson. He is down again. Rick McCord with a fist drop choice G. So either death jump or a tombstone pile driver. He's going to go for that. This will work on a nine or less. And the roll is a seven. So Robert Gibson uh, down three again. And there's a flying body press. The target is going to be four. And the roll is a nine. So Robert Gibson with another fatigue token. He's now up to two. Rick McCord with a hammer lock uh, hurting Robert Gibson. And a fireman's carry slam. And he's rolling the pin again. The target here will be five. The roll is an eight. Robert Gibson now at three fatigue. Rick McCord looking good. Locks in the figure four leg lock. Uh, only a hurt there. And forearm smashes two. Hurts two. Rick McCord throws Robert Gibson into the turnbuckle. And it's crushed by a big kick as Rick McCord hits some flying drop kicks. Uh, and we're rolling pin again. There it is. The target is six. The roll is an eight. 
Uh, R Robert Gibson fighting, but Rick McCord just taking it to him. Side saddle suplex three, hurt two, and uh, forearm smashes two. Robert Gibson finally with a reversal here on level one. Tries a body slam. It will work. Rick McCord rolls on level two, hurt two. Can Robert Gibson get some fire back here? Well, he hits a big back elbow smash on Rick McCord. Uh, but only hurts him. And uh, leg puller and punch. He can't do that move because it is a tag move. Into the turnbuckle goes Rick McCord. And he's crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Spinning toe hold. Three. Hurt two. Uh, and can't do the leg puller and punch. Sorry. Back elbow smash three. That one works. Rick McCord rolling his pin now. The target is five. The roll is four. And out of nowhere, Robert Gibson with a back elbow smash uh, picks up the victory. Holy cow. Uh, what a turnaround that was. Uh, so we will say Robert Gibson beat Rick McCord. Uh, uh, pinfall. After a, it was a back elbow smash, right? That was the name. Uh, Jason, hello. Uh, well, I just started. This wasn't a planned uh, evening, but uh, here we are nonetheless. Uh, back elbow smash. We have four big matches, and that was our first one. And let's see. Rick McCord was at one fatigue. Robert Gibson was at four fatigue. Uh, so that is a two and a half. So we'll give that three stars there. Uh, and great come from behind victory for Robert Gibson. Uh, who finally gets a win after last card's losing effort. Uh, so here we go. Here's our next match. Wait, 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 wait. It's not Robert Gibson against Adrian Street. All right, hold on one second. Hold on one second here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I got to cue those commercials back up. Uh, add a match to a show. This will be segment two. And next step, and it's Exotic Adrian Street. And then who was I going to have him? He fought Ricky Morton last time. Steve Regal? Wait, it's, I got to make sure that uh, Steve Regal is not in any other match. I don't believe he is. Sorry about this. Uh, that's the second time in a row I've done that. Uh, Adrian Robert Gibson. This match has nobody in it. So we'll delete that. Oh, I think that's the one I was just setting up. Oh, what is this? My first day using uh, this uh, system? So how's everybody's day today? Good? Okay, let's see. Exotic Adrian Street, Robert Gibson, Bill Irwin, Ricky Morton. Yeah, so Steve Regal, but I think we're going to have to do this again. Okay. Add a match to a show. Segment two. Uh, and this will be Exotic Adrian Street versus Steve Regal. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. We are now ready for our next match. And Exotic Adrian Street. Wait, why is that still there? Okay, this match needs to go. We did have four matches tonight, and this is taking as long as one one of those matches would take. Okay, here we go. Exotic Adrian Street. No one at ringside with him. I know he does have Miss Linda, but not at ringside. Now, let's roll for some initiative. Let's ring that bell. And it looks like Exotic Adrian Street, who lost last time and looking for a win here. And uh, Armbar and Hair Pull, too. And Steve Regal is down. And Vertical Suplex Choice H. So that'll be either a Death Jump or a Flying Elbow Drop. That would work on a 7 or less. He's going to go for the Death Jump. Climbing up to the top is Exotic Adrian Street. Um, uh, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, out of the ring, he throws Steve Regal out of the ring. Jason's saying, this reminds me of being backstage at a wrestling event. Uh, yeah, you're seeing the, the behind-the-scenes stuff. 
And Jason's saying that Adrian Street card art looks spectacular. It is. Steve Rigo crawls helplessly back in as exotic Adrian Street rolls on level three, locks in a Cobra clutch on Steve Regal, who is still down. And uh, another vertical suplex choice H. He's going to go again up to the top for a death jump. Uh, the opponent climbs the top. The uh, struggle takes place. Whoever is the most powerful, uh, that is going to be exotic Adrian Street. So he will win that struggle, throw Steve Regal back into the ring, and then lock in the Cobra Clutch once again. Hurt two. Uh, into the turnbuckle goes uh, Steve Regal. And crushed by a big kick, opponent rolls on level two offense. Face Ripper, two. Hurt, two. Exotic Adrian Street with a European uppercut. Uh, Adrian Street has been in control, well, up until now. <laughs> Steven uh, Regal just got a reversal. He's going to throw Exotic Adrian Street uh, reversal. Uh, Street throws Regal into the turnbuckle. Can't do two reversals in a row. Uh, crushed by a big kick, opponent rolls on level two offense. Well, Steve had a little bit of offense there. Uh, face Ripper, two. Steve Regal reversing it once again. Rolls on level two offense with a Russian leg sweep on Exotic Adrian. Hurt, two. Uh, can he capitalize? Vertical suplex, two. Power move. Exotic Adrian Street has the power. So he reverses that with a European uppercut, two. Steve Regal reverses it again every time he tries that uppercut. Uh, into the turnbuckle goes Street, crushed by a big kick. Can Regal... No, Regal's going to throw him into the turnbuckle again. Uh, another big kick. Regal rolls into the turnbuckle again, just whipping him from pillar to post. Uh, the opponent tries to run in clothesline, but you move and he crashes into the turnbuckle. You cover him for the pin. Opponent rolls pin. Here we go. Steve Regal. The target is four. The roll is a six. One fatigue token for Steve Regal. And can exotic Adrian Street put him away? Well, he's going to try this death jump again. Uh, last time, uh, I guess it worked. Blast you with a flying clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, the Daffodil. There is the Daffodil on Steve Regal. Down three. Leave the ring. Regal's going to bail out of the ring, but he crawls helplessly back in as Street hits the crucifix. So the target here will be six. The roll is a nine. And Steve Regal still in it, but at two fatigue now. There's the Cobra Clutch on level three. Hurt two. Uh, exotic Adrian continuing elbow drop choice E. Um, let's see. He is going to try this, uh, agility move. It'll work on an eight or less. The roll is a seven. It does work. Steve Regal on level three defense hurt too. Adrian street with the feed ripper. Uh, Michael Brada is in the chat, Jason. I just saw your question. Any idea what the Daffodil move actually is? Michael Brada, if there's anyone who can answer that question, it is our good friend Michael Brada who just joined the chat. So sorry to put you on the spot, Michael, but uh, there you go. Uh, Steve Regal is going to reverse it on level one and rope burn an agility move, but exotic Adrian Street has that. I don't know what the Daffodil is, is my short way of saying that. But there's a neck breaker on Steven Regal. Hurts too. Exotic Adrian Street hits a neck breaker. Another one on Steve Regal. Down three. And vertical suplex choice H. He's going to have to go for that death jump again. Climbing up to the top. Uh, blasts you with a big move. And Exotic Adrian Street uh, out of the ring. He tosses Steve Regal out of the ring. A wild brawler ups the wrestler with a better ring rating. That's going to be Street. He's going to win that brawl and bring him back into the ring. And there is the mystery move. The Daffodil once again hurt too. And a running splash three. Uh, and there's a pin right there. Is this running splash going to get him? The target is six. The roll is a six. And there it is with a running splash. Uh, and. <clears throat> oh, well, here, if you want to look at his other moves, let me see if I can do both of these things at once uh, that way. Michael, you can see his card. All right, so let's see. Adrian Street wins this match uh, against Steve Regal, and he wins with a running splash. Pinfall after a running splash. Uh, so, and uh, let's see what... 
Okay, uh, Street had no fatigue. Regal had two fatigue. Uh, I'll say that's a two-star eh, two match, sure. So Street gets his first win. Uh, Regal is on a, a losing streak there. All right. Uh, all right, we are ready for our next match. And this is Dr. Bill Irwin versus Ricky Morton. Ricky Morton, who had... Uh, Michael Bradda says, Daffodil is a stump puller submission. So there you go. That's what that is. I have a bit of a cold. It is not uh, COVID. Uh, just a little bit of the old sniffles. And I didn't want to snort right into... Uh, the, the microphone, and I apologize if I have been doing that. Uh, all right, so we have Dr. Bill Irwin versus Ricky Morton. Uh, I'm using him as Dr. Bill Irwin, um, because I'm watching currently 1980s, uh, Memphis wrestling, and that's who he is. Uh, and we roll for initiative. Bill Irwin will get the initiative with a jumping stomp, too, but it's an agility move. So Ricky Morton reverses it. Ricky Morton with a big win last time against uh, Exotic Adrian Street. Can't use a tag move, so he's going to have to roll again with a fist drop on Bill Irwin. And Irwin uh, reverses that on level two and throws Ricky Morton into the turnbuckle. Uh, you bounce far of the turnbuckle into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Bill Irwin with a sidewalk slam on Ricky Morton. Down three. Bill Irwin wasting no time. Uh, slingshot suplex. Roll one die. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not going to do this move because this is attack with bullwhip. And uh, for right now, he's not a cowboy. He's Dr. Bill Irwin. So it's going to be three on Ricky Morton. And that's going to actually... Make a pinning predicament there. Uh, the target is two. The roll is a six. One fatigue for Ricky Morton. Bill Irwin. I rake with boo to nasty. Uh, hurts two. Bill Irwin in total control here. Throat drop, throat drop on ropes. Three. Down three. Ricky Morton will stay in the ring. Try to fight it off. But there's the float kick right there. Uh, <laughs> bull, uh, bull whip with a stethoscope. He did wear like a doctor's outfit. And you know what? I think there was one match I watched recently where he had some sort of chain or something. Um, but, uh, there's the float kick. So this is a plus one. Um, and let's see. The target is four. The roll is a 10. So, uh, another fatigue token for Ricky Morton, uh, out of the ring. Oops. Uh, ignore this roll. That's going to come in here because I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, Ricky Morton crawls helplessly back in the ring as Irwin rolls on level three offense, double sledge choice H, which will be a death jump or a flying elbow that'll work on a five or less. Well, he's going to go for the death jump, even though Ricky Morton has an a, uh, the opponent climbs the top. You recover, throw him off. He goes down hard. Ricky Morton, big reversal here. Death jump. He climbs up to the top and uh, a struggle takes place. Better agility wins. That is going to be Ricky Morton. He rolls on level three offense and hits a cross body block on Bill Irwin. The target is four. The roll is a six. Uh, Dr. Bill Irwin able to kick out, but now at one fatigue. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. In singles matches... Oh, that's that up. That's that upper one. Uh, so he had to roll again. He rolls the cross body block again. So the target is going to be five, and the roll is a four. Ricky Morton pulling out a big win there against Dr. Bill Irwin. Ricky Morton is the uh, runaway star here so far in uh, Memphis wrestling. The fans just solidly behind him, and uh, he gets a big win. Um. Out of nowhere. Wow, what a what a great what a great match that was. All right, let's see. Bill Irwin had one fatigue. Ricky Morton had two fatigues. So again, another three star match there. Um and the I, I did notice that um that the final roll was doubles, but I see, uh, <laughs> that's true. I do have almost every possible finish in my autofill. Um, uh, Ricky Morton, 
I don't think he would attack Bill Irwin after the match. I think he would leave and let Bill Irwin rant and rave uh, that he lost. Um, uh, so another big win for Morton. All right, there we go. There is that. Uh, it is time for our next match. We've got two more matches coming up here. Uh, oh, no. No, we have one more match. It's time for our main event. I'm sorry. I miscounted. Uh, this stemming out of the last card, both Jackie Fargo and handsome Jimmy Valiant were um, victorious in their opening, in their debut matches. And then Fargo came out and challenged Jimmy Valiant. I think Fargo thinking that Valiant is uh, his biggest uh, his biggest uh, competition to be top dog in the Fed. All right, so this is our main event. Thank you all for tuning in here tonight. Let's roll for some initiative. Let's ring that bell, and it looks like Handsome Jimmy Valiant. I kind of want a Handsome Jimmy Valiant card. I mean, I know this card works, but I kind of want a Handsome Jimmy Valiant card. Hip Toss 1, Dazed 1, Jimmy Valiant with an Arm Drag 2. It's a power move, but Jackie Fargo has the power, so he bites Jimmy Valiant just right on the forehead. And he is down three. Ooh, that bite took a lot out of him. Uh, out of the ring, what are his stats going up? He's going to roll up. Uh, roaring forearm three on Jimmy Valiant. Hurt two. Uh, flurry of punches two on Jimmy Valiant. Hurt two. Jackie Fargo, bite to the forehead. Another bite to the forehead. Jimmy Valiant now shakes that off and rolls into the turnbuckle, throws Fargo into the turnbuckle, and Fargo reverses it. Jimmy Valiant now going into the turnbuckle. Uh, and uh, Valiant catches Fargo with a lariat, goes down hard. He's going to roll on level three defense. Down three, leave the ring. Fargo bails out of the ring, but crawls helplessly back in to meet the count. A big neck breaker from Jimmy Valiant. And we're rolling for a pin. There you go. The target is two. The roll is a six. One fatigue token for Fargo as the crowd solidly behind Jimmy Valiant. Out of the ring. Uh, he's not going to throw him out of the ring. He's going to roll up. Thumb to throat two on Jackie Fargo. Hurt two. The, the crowd is chanting for blood. Look at that. A running elbow smash three. And Hurt, too. Jimmy Valiant still in control here uh, with another running elbow smash on Jackie Fargo. And Jackie Fargo is down. Jimmy Valiant uh, with a body slam. Well, that's not going to put Jackie Fargo away. And in fact, it's Jackie Fargo is going to reverse it. And he uh, rolls kick to midsection 2A, choice A. So either into the ropes, he's got a B. What's his power rating? Is a zero? Well, he's going to go for into the ropes. Into the ropes goes handsome Jimmy Valiant. Uh, the opponent uses one of his special moves on you and you goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level three offense. And there is a jumping stomp on Jimmy Valiant. Hurt too. Jackie Fargo uh, with a big body slam showing Jimmy Valiant how to do a body slam. Hurt too. Kick to midsection. Choice A again. He is going to go into the ropes. Jimmy Valiant goes speeding into the ropes. And Valiant comes off with a shoulder tackle and rolls on level 2 offense with a running elbow smash. Hurt 2. Valiant is back. The crowd is behind him. Ear clap 2. Choice C. Uh, this will work on a 7 or less. The roll is a 7. It does work. Look at that. Uh, and Jackie Fargo again rolling his pin. The target is three. The roll is a six. Uh, Jackie Fargo now at two fatigue as Jimmy Valiant hits the, I'm calling this the super elbow. I don't know what he called this elbow when he was handsome Jimmy Valiant. Uh, I'm just calling it a super elbow, but it is a plus one. So the target is five. The roll is a three. And handsome Jimmy Valiant with the super elbow. Holy smokes, uh, beats Jackie Fargo uh, after a after the super elbow. The fans going crazy. Let's see. He was at two fatigue. I don't think Jimmy Valiant had any fatigue. No, he didn't. Uh, but we will say that's a two-star match because it was the main event. It was a little bit exciting. Uh, the fans go nuts. 
as Handsome Jimmy. Valiant wins. Fargo tells Lance Russell that he will have revenge. Uh, so there we go. All right. Well, let's uh, check out our uh, run down the results that we saw here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a great evening of action. Uh, oh, he did call it the super elbow. Okay, good. Uh, good, to, good to hear. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Robert Gibson defeated Rick McCord via pinfall after... Ooh, I have put wafter. I'll have to go in and fix that. Uh, after a back elbow smash in our opening match, uh, uh, Robert Gibson uh, gets a gets a great come from behind victory there. Exotic Adrian Street gets his first win against Stephen Ringle. Uh, Regal. Uh, Doctor Bill Irwin loses to Ricky Morton, the hot shot Ricky Morton, uh, who is just uh, b- bursting up the rankings uh, with these great come from behind wins. Cross body block. Uh, is able to secure the women in the match. And we just saw in our main event, Jimmy Valiant, handsome Jimmy Valiant, defeated Jackie Fargo with the super elbow. And Valiant has vowed to get even. Uh, before we leave, let's take a quick look at the rankings here, ladies and gentlemen. These aren't official rankings. These We'll say these are the uh, magazine rankings. Uh, Ricky Morton is our number one uh, ranked person. Jimmy Valiant, number two. Jackie Fargo in third. Robert Gibson. Fourth, Dr. Bill Irwin uh, and Exotic Adrian Street, Rick McCord, and Steve Regal. Uh, We've only had one tag team match, so there you go. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Jason, Michael, anybody else who's watching now or watching later, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you have a great evening. I'll be back Friday night with the Phil Singer Games Fan Podcast, and uh, I will see you there. I I think... uh, I think uh, from from some of the the sort of hints that were dropped on uh, the Roll Up podcast that was released today, um, uh, I think I have an inkling who the Friday announcement might be, and I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, uh, And uh, that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.